salvation is by the grace of God. Being able to be, there are two things we are taught today by our teacher during the workers, in tra workers uh, meeting. Salvation and what you call sustaining grace. You are saved, then you are sustained to be able to make heaven. Because not everybody that becomes born again makes heaven. Am I communicating? Some fall by the wayside after they have been saved. You will not fall by the wayside in Jesus' name. But being saved is by the grace of God. To, for your name to enter the book of life. How do I know? Ephesians chapter 2 verse 8. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 8. The Bible says in Ephesians 2 verse 8. For by grace are you saved. How are you saved? By grace. How are you saved? By grace. Through faith. And that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God. Now after you have been saved. As our teacher taught us today. In the workers, in the workers meeting and also in the first sermon. You need sustained grace. Sustaining grace. To make heaven. So that you don't fall by the wayside. And that sustaining grace is in Titus chapter 3 verse 7. Chap Titus chapter 3 verse 7. Titus chapter 3 verse 7. The Bible says there, that be justified by what? By his grace. We should be made heirs according to the hope of eternal life. You can only enter heaven when you are justified by what? By grace. In other words, your hard work cannot help you make heaven. You need the grace of God to ultimately inherit eternal life. Why? There is a battle. Only God can give you grace to overcome the battles. That's why the Bible says, in Matthew chapter 10 verse 22 Matthew 10 22 that he that endured to the end shall be saved I pray that God will help you may God's grace be upon you in the name of Jesus